what is up so today hi my name is Gigi welcome to my channel I would love it if you like and subscribe and I'm just gonna jump right into things today we are getting really close to 2019 so I think a lot of the resolutions I came up with this year are resolutions we can all make cute right let's just get started <sighs> So my number one resolution this year is, drumroll please, less freaking plastic, no more straws. I don't know like what it's gonna take to get these people to stop using straws. Your Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee does not need a little straw that bad. I think we can let the straw thing go. Oh, I think we can all be mature about this and just let the straws go. Yeah, how does that sound? Okay, cool. I'm like actually pretty heated about this topic. How are you? I'll be honest. I still have used straws in the past year, but I'm really, really trying whenever they hand me a straw or whatever to say, no, I don't need that. I'm also carrying around paper straws in my purse now. So here are the facts. Are you ready? Because... I'm sad about it. I have a little journal because we're gonna get educated today. So it's not just straws, it's excess plastic in general. Basically, the waste in the oceans is astoundingly increasing. A lot of this debris is com um, coming from runoff when it's littered and then it gets washed away into our rivers and eventually into the oceans. The ocean has impacted at least 267 species total like marine species. According to the Strawless Ocean Organization, in America alone, we use 500 million straws a day. And most of these straws end up in the ocean killing marine life. It is estimated that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. You may just be thinking, you know, how much difference can I, one person really make? But honestly, if everyone thinks that and then does it, that makes a huge difference, and you as one person do make an impact. My next goal for the new year is to journal more. I never used to be a journaling person. It doesn't need to be like... Dear diary. Set aside time every single day and pick a time of day that you're gonna journal. For me, I think I wanna start journaling in the morning, just like right when I wake up. My most creative processes happen right when I wake up, and I think that's different for everyone, but choose your time of day. Journaling is just really meditative. It's really good for your mind and your body and it just really It's good for you. It's good for your soul and um, Taking those moments to do those things that are good for your soul are really important to you I started journaling in the spring. Brandon got me this journal in the spring and I chalked this thing full of poems and messy stuff, drawings. This is actually really pretty. Just stuff that was on my mind and that I needed to get on paper somewhere. It's not all like beautiful poems or stuff I would ever show anybody because it's not cute. Random stuff that was on my mind that I needed to get out somewhere. It can be whatever you need it to be. I have decided I'm not going to shop fast fashion anymore. So fast fashion is basically these big corporations such as Forever 21, places like that, that are, they're getting all the trends and they're moving them in super quick. And um, usually that results in these pretty awful um, conditions for workers. It's unethical, unsustainable. If you can really try to at least limit your fast fashion and find other ways of shopping. A, thrifting. Thrifting is such a good way to get around the fast fashion. You can find so many incredible trends and things that you can make your own freaking trends with, right? Super unique pieces that you're never gonna find in one of those big fast fashion stores and pieces that no one else is gonna have. Thrifting is such a good alternative and it's, it's not supporting anything that's unethical. There's a lot of cool websites for this. You can use Depop. Um, I think ThreadUp is another one. I'll put a couple more on the screen somewhere. But yeah, it's a super great way to do that. And it's amazing. And I love thrifting. So I'm challenging myself to do mostly thrifting. And I'm also going to try and find some ethical and sustainable 
brands. And now these, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, they get pretty freaking pricey. <laughs> But, you know, that just shows you, like, if they're doing everything ethically and sustainably so that everyone being involved in the process of making that t-shirt is paid with the fair amount they're supposed to be paid, they were, it was made in safe working conditions, and it was made in a way that's not affecting the environment in a negative way. That just shows you, like, if they're doing everything ethically and sustainably, and a t-shirt is costing a hundred bucks, you see how much you are contributing when you buy a $6 t-shirt at Forever 21. We all have an artist in us and we all feel like, oh, of course, I'm not an artist. We're all artists in some sort of way and we need to, you know, be gentler on ourselves and take time for those creative moments because we all have creativity in us. It's just about guiding it out. But yeah, like, oh my God, my back. So it's good to challenge yourself to, in the new year to do at least one artistic thing a week. We all get really caught up in our lives and you know, work and school and homework and drama, but it's really great to take one artistic moment for yourself per week. That could be journaling, that could be going to one dance class, that could be going to a voice lesson, that could be singing in your room. Filmmakers are artists, music is an art form even just creative ideas about a program you wanna start or things you wanna do with your future. Those count as artistic moments. Find those moments, create those creative projects you have in your head that you think are impossible to do. Like for me, this is a big art form of mine. And in the new year, like I'm definitely wanna give this a lot more love and attention. And let's grow <laughs> and hug. That was weird. I hope I didn't just lose subscribers. So another goal I have for this year is to be more frugal. I'm very excited about it, um, and it's my goal. We're not gonna spend more money on food today, says Brandon. It's called me a frugal. A, I'm gonna do myself some huge favors in the long run by saving my money and not buying everything I see just because it's on sale. <laughs> I don't do that, what? And two, it's actually like really benefiting all that ethical stuff we just talked about if I just buy more minimalistically. I just, I think it's good for all of us to not buy things that we don't need in excess. Open a savings account and tell yourself every single month I'm setting aside X amount of money into my savings account. A planner! I think a planner is just such a good idea. You know, you can use a paper planner or you can get a planner on your phone. Make it a goal every single week and budget in two different things. Number one, budget in time for the things you love to do. Budget in time that you are setting aside to spend with your family. Budget in time you are setting aside to spend with your friends, etc., etc. So you can really foster those relationships, like give those relationships the love that they deserve. Secondly, budget in your goals. Where do you want to see yourself in your long term? And your long term might be different from my long term. Where do you want to see yourself? So you can have some sort of focus. And if you have a focus, then you can have the steps. And then those steps break up into their own goals of, okay, well, these are the steps I need to achieve this bigger goal. Every single week, then you're going to set aside time to figure out how you're going to complete those steps so you can reach your higher goal. watch some documentaries. I know I was a person who was like, I know what's in them, I don't need to see it. And then once I did see it, it totally changed my perspective on everything. And now I'm vegan. I think that it's really important to put yourself in those uncomfortable positions. I'm challenging all of you to watch at least one documentary on one of these issues this year so that you know, and then you can make a decision based on what you know I challenge you, get in that uncomfortable situation because that's where the most growth can happen. So I'm not quite sure about an all natural makeup brand, but I wanna find one. However, I do know of a lot of makeup brands that are now vegan and or cruelty free. I've been building up my makeup collection like throughout the years and I definitely have some products in there that are not vegan and are not cruelty free. From now on, the only products I want to be buying in this new year are vegan and cruelty-free products. That is it. Because I love animals. 
So no animal testing. I, I don't want that. I don't, no. Definitely read up on that because a lot of brands are doing that. There's also no law that says we need to be animal testing. It's not necessary, like legally, but it's actually more expensive and less effective. And it's just cruel and awful and evil. And these are facts that I learned while working at Lush. <laughs> And I think that it's super, super easy. There's tons of brands out there that are now cruelty-free. ColourPop actually on their website has a list of all of their vegan products and a good majority of ColourPop's products are vegan. So props to ColourPop. There are even drugstore brands that are vegan and cruelty-free and that's amazing. So it's accessible to everyone. Read more books. I have a big bin of books that my mom gave me for my birthday my birthday. One of my goals this year is to read at least one book a month. You know, once we got to high school, we only read what we were given to read and had to read at school and they weren't always the most enjoyable book. No shade to high school. It kind of made me forget how much I used to love to read. So I'm, one of my goals this year is to really get back into reading things that I love and, you know, exploring that and finding new books and yeah, reading a book a month. <laughs> I'm merged. Staying in shape, Ay. When I was in New York at BDC, I just freaking fell in love with fitness. And I am going to share that with you guys. You feel so good after you like feel the burn. You didn't quit and then you did it and then you're like, I'm freaking superwoman and I can conquer the world. So I think it'd be really cool if we all created our own personal workout routines that could literally be a five minute workout and it will be great and we'll all be stacked. <laughs> My last goal for the year is to spend more time outside. Spending more time outside feels so good and it makes me feel so happy inside. And spending that time doing that with your family or people you love are really really great ways to connect with other humans just being outside in nature together or alone either way we can go alone we can go together you know whatever taking your time in those moments one of my favorite things to do outside is to really slow down and look at things up close i challenge you all to look at things in nature up close it is pretty freaking incredible mama nature is one of the most incredible artists out there once you really slow down to look at things up close. So yeah, those are my 10, maybe that was 11, New Year's resolutions that I think we all can make. Here, I hope you all have a fantastic, safe New Year's and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, thank you so much for watching.